Yeah, this one of those things I've noticed. Uh, a lot of people are chanting um, in these days is, is Jesus is a friend to sinners, and um, he loves sinners. All right, they're they're great, <clears throat> and they get it from this passage here. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous, a wine bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners. All right, oh, well, he's a friend of publicans and sinners. Um, and wisdom is justified of the children. All right, so pff, they've taken in the wrong context, of course, um, as usual. So you've you've got here for John came neither eating nor drinking. He wasn't doing anything, and they they said he had a devil. All right, now they said here the son of, and this is Jesus saying it, by the way. Um, John came here eating and drinking, and they called him a devil. I come here eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a gluttonous wine bibber, and he's a friend of sinners and publicans. Uh, but I say, <coughs> the end result is what justifies wisdom. All right, so he's saying, after he leaves there and um, helps these people, um, the end result will show the wisdom of him being there. All right, so that, that's the point of that. This, in no way at all, does this say he's a friend of sinners. It's people, it's the accuser, right? The accuser is saying he is a friend of sinners, right? He said, and they say, right? These accusers, the accusers of him that are accusing him of being a friend to sinners. It's not Jesus saying he's a friend of sinners. He never says that anywhere here. All right, so um, people are accusing him of being friends to sinners. And so are the people that are using this sentence in that fashion. They're accusing of them of being friends to a friend of sinners. All right. So um, whoever's doing that, stop it. <laughs> and uh, tell whoever's doing that to stop it. It's not good. They got it in the wrong context. All right. Thank you.